Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about ICP, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. One favor that I want to ask you guys is to smash that like button if you have not already, and of course, subscribe. You guys know I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, so I need each and every one of you guys on board, and your support will mean the world to me. But if we're looking at the overall markets, you know, you're seeing a little bit of a minor pullback today um, as we are going into Sunday morning. ICP down about 1.8%, with the price still, even though we're seeing a little bit of a minor pullback, you're still seeing ICP holding its level back above. $13 and that is something that you want to really focus on really really important to focus on this so let's take a closer look and see what is happening but before we do that as always just a quick disclaimer for everyone anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so as mentioned to you guys you know $13.21 is the price of ICP we're down about 1.1% over the past 24 hours in USD and Bitcoin comparative. So, you know, before anyone comes out and says, oh, look at ICP, this and that, I really hope you guys are looking at the broader market and literally looking at what's happening across the board, not just for ICP. You're seeing, you know, majority of the altcoins seeing a little bit of a minor pullback. Um, and, um, you know, that's totally fine. We are, um, you know, obviously in a weekend and on the weekends, we do tend to see more manipulation than usual. But let's not forget what we're seeing happening for the you know overall market on the weekly time frame as well as on the monthly time frame on the weekly time frame ICP is up 11.2%. So that is something that you really want to be paying very close attention to. But as far as market cap goes, you know we're still above 6 billion dollars, 6.1 billion to be exact. And the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 111 million. So not bad in both sections. But let's take a look at what's happening with the price of Bitcoin, with the price of um, you know ICP, and of course the dominance index. So let's start off with the dominance index. So let me zoom in a little bit to show you what's happening. So you did see the dominance index go up a bit. You know, dominance index climbing up, you know, it made its way down to 55.65%, but you know, we're seeing a little bit of a move towards the upside. And I think this is the main, main reason as to why you're seeing a little bit of a pullback, you know, for the market. You know, obviously you do have, you know, your big losers today, you know, Ondo, WIF, uh, but majority of the altcoins are down about 1% to 2%. You can see ICP down about 1.8, WLD 1.9, sold pretty much holding quite well, AGI. So you guys get the idea as to what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, the thing that you want to be looking at is the weekly, you know, the bigger, uh, you know, time frame. But anyhow, let's take a look at what's happening with BTC. So Bitcoin holding really, really strong at this key resistance. Loving what I'm seeing with BTC right now. Um, obviously, we're still in a weekend. You know, we could see a shakeout. Um, so, you know, we need to really um, see that breakout in order to get that confirmation. But, you know, so far, you know, that resistance is coming in the way for BTC. I believe if we're able to break out, get that confirmation for ourselves, um, then I think we could start heading back above, you know, this 68,000, almost 69K, and obviously above 70K, um, and potentially even start pushing towards an all time high. So, you know, that could be really exciting and set us. Um, you know, for success in this upcoming week ahead of us. So, you know, that is why it's really important to keep an eye on that. But if you're looking at ICP right now, look at what's happening with ICP. So if I were to zoom in, we did end up, so look at it, just yesterday, we did end up retesting that key resistance. And we spoke about this key resistance with you guys yesterday. Um, and you know that resistance came in the way as it should. Um, and you know we did see a little bit of a rejection. Uh, but you know that's the same spot that you want to be looking at right now. It's extremely important for the price of ICP to be actually above that zone. What I want you guys to be paying attention to is last month. It's pretty much since we um, you know obviously went back above this. So you know this recovery was a really nice recovery. This bounce, uh, you know that initial pullback that we did see due to Bitcoin you know look at this bounce this shows that a lot of buying pressure was around this level because at that time you saw an instant recovery of about 40 percent and of course you know we did see Bitcoin having a shakeout slowly but surely you know ICP made its way back down to this support line but you know once again you're still seeing a little bit of a hard time breaking past this key resistance we did see this hard time coming in our way uh, pretty much late April and we're starting to see that happening now but I do believe if Bitcoin is able to break out of this key resistance that I'm referring to, we will see 
this turn into support this resistance so that's how i'm currently analyzing the uh, price of icp uh, not looking as bad as a lot of people think um, you know some people i just want icp to be uh, back above to all-time highs in a snap of a finger that's not going to happen it might not even happen this bull market which i think it won't i don't think you know icp will reclaim its all-time highs this cycle yeah i really want you guys to be realistic on that that's a crazy crazy move for that to happen could i see it in triple digits i've already mentioned that i believe it can get to a three digit but not towards you know those 700 prices but that does not mean it can't happen in the uh, you know uh, upcoming future maybe in the next few years but um, that's how I'm currently analyzing it of course you know we did uh, you know break out and get to the $20 price point but we still haven't retested the $23.67 resistance which is kind of dating back to April 3rd so that's how I'm currently analyzing the charts do let me know down below what you guys think love you all see you tomorrow good crypto ZX and peace out